we will study about the user's input in this lesson. To illustrate the idea of user's input, let's write a simple code to find the area of a triangle from its base and height value. Suppose base is 2.4 and height is 4. We know area is half base into height. Let's print the result. Now if we have to find the area of another triangle, which height is 6 instead of 4, we can change the height value to 6. But you see, every time we will have to change the value in our program for different triangles. Therefore we will do this by user's input. Who is the user? A user is a person who is using your program and he is a layman having no knowledge of programming. You can assume that he has no access to the coding file. All he can do is run the code and see or interact the program in this terminal window. It will be very important for you to make your mind that you are not writing the program for yourself but you are writing that for some other user. So most of the time we would need to take some value as input from the user rather than changing the value inside our program. So let's see that on a different file. We have a built-in function named as input so we can write it like x equal to input. Here x is just a variable name in which the user's entry will be stored. So if we run the code on the output window you don't see anything but the program has not ended, rather it is asking for some input. Let's type in something and press enter. Now program has ended and the string we entered has been stored in the variable x of the program. To verify that, let's print the value of x to see if it has the user's entered value. Now program is executing line number 1 and asking for the input. It will not move forward to the next statement unless we enter something. So let's enter something. And you can see as we entered computer, it executed the next lines and print x on line number 4 has printed what we have entered. While taking input from the user, it is important to mention what we are asking him to enter. For example, we need him to enter his name or his age or what. So we can specify a customized message within this input function. And now the program displays that message while taking the input. Let's see how we can take in the name and registration number of a student and then display a welcome message. I want to display welcome message as student name and his registration number be inside the round brackets. You can see the desired output. So far we have taken the string input from the user. Now let's see what if user enters a numeric value. So here I am taking a value from user assuming he will enter a number. And then displaying that x and 2 times x. So when we entered 5, 2 times 5 is displayed as 5 5 and not 10, meaning that 5 is read as string and not as a number. The input function takes a string value, so if we want to take in integer, we can specify that like this. And now the result is correct as 10. Now let's enter a float value. And we got the error. Because for float we should write float instead of int here. Now we can also input an integer. 
and that point 0 with 2 indicates that it was converted into float. Instead of specifying int or float with the input function, we should use a val here. And now either we enter int or float, this val function will handle that. And that is what we will be using from now. So for this program, we will take base and height value from the user now. There is also possibility of taking multiple values in one input statement. Now user will enter two values but separated by a comma. So please do these three very simple tasks in which you need to take some input, do a little bit of calculation and display the result. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.